My name is uh, Pawan Singhal. I am a professor in the Institute of uh, Cardiovascular Sciences at the University of Manitoba St. Boniface Hospital in Winnipeg, Canada. I just uh, finished uh, giving a talk in this uh, 22nd conference of the International uh, Cardiology uh, Society. Uh, the talk was on um, uh, dealing with heart failure and particularly in heart failure role of uh, cytokines and different toll-like receptors. Uh, first, heart failure, in fact, is a, is a major issue in our society causing most of the deaths uh, are due to cardiovascular diseases. And within cardiovascular gamut, uh, more, than, uh, uh, more than half, maybe even 60% are caused by ischemic heart disease. So that is the major one which causes havoc uh, in the heart and ultimately leads to failure. So we have focused on the role of different cytokines. Within cytokines, we are examining tumor necrosis factor alpha, in short, TNF-alpha, which is pro-inflammatory, which causes oxidative stress, it causes apoptosis. And the other cytokine we have followed is interleukin-10, which is anti-inflammatory, uh, anti-apoptotic and it also uh, mitigates uh, the oxidative stress. And these two cytokines, they inter interact in a very particular way. Of these two, for today's talk, I focused on uh, interleukin-10 um, modifying the function or activities of these two receptors that I mentioned, TLR4 and TLR2. These are the first line of host defense against stress or challenge. And in these hearts, we challenge them with the ischemia, then followed with the re reperfusion, and then look at these two receptors, TLR4, TLR2. So if we in, in induced ischemia, then reperfused, we had re recovery of function in the model that we used. Uh, in that recovery, which was about 60%, uh, we saw that there was a decrease in TLR4 and an increase in TLR2. So what we did then, uh, just to see if it is interleukin-10 uh, that is important in this uh, change, we added interleukin-10 in the reperfusion medium, then studied the function as well as these two receptors and their downstream processes. Uh, to our pleasant surprise, the addition of interleukin-10 caused a significant improvement in the function of the heart, uh, much more than what was without the presence of IL-10. And also, interestingly, TLR4 receptor was upregulated uh, by the presence of IL-10 in the reperfused hearts, and TLR2 activity was uh, depressed. It also made a change in the myocardial cell death. In the reperfused hearts, without IL-10, uh, there was much more uh, apoptosis, we call it, uh, or myocardial cell death. Uh, but when we added IL-10, uh, it tended to mitigate uh, the happening of cell death. So overall, it seems like that uh, under conditions of ischemia or any challenge, the other challenge I'll come back to in a minute, um, that we had examined and I presented the data, uh, that uh, heart makes certain adjustments. Uh, if those adjustments fail, then heart would fail. And that's what was happening uh, without IL-10. So one can take maneuvers, approaches to, to mitigate the level of functional uh, decrease uh, in the heart by certain um, clever maneuvers. The other model we examined <coughs> was if we removed interleukin-10, I mentioned IL-10, uh, what we did was we did uh, studies on IL-10 knockout mice. So IL-10 was totally knocked out. So these mice also showed an upregulation of TLR2, uh, increased apoptosis. Um, there were other intermediary changes um, and increase in oxidative stress. 
uh, formation of collagen was increased. So all the conditions associated with heart failure were promoted uh, in the absence of IL-10. So IL-10 seems to be, in conclusion, an important molecule uh, for maintaining uh, heart in good health. And I think I will end there.